I found a couple of long dormant lithium ion NP1s from IDX. These are great batteries, but if they don't get used a lot, uh, they can potentially go bad. These are about eight years old. Now, I also have a couple of cheaper VeriZoom NP1s that I found out I couldn't use because they have a different charging scheme than the IDX. The IDX takes much more into account when charging each battery, temperature sensors in different places, and generally treats the batteries much better. So I want to resell these IDX batteries. Taking them apart is kind of a challenge until you find the four screws that are hidden deep underneath the labeling on top of the NP1s, and that includes the power status overlay. There's a couple of screws underneath that as well. After you get those screws out, you can pop the tabs along the side and pop this battery open, and it will reveal the complex charging circuit board that sits on top of the cells. Uh, there's a lot going on on there, and it takes a few more screws to remove the charging board from the cells. These cells, uh, there's eight of them in all, um, 3.7 volts each, about 2,600 milliamp hours. Here's a couple of bad-looking batteries. It looks like uh, some corrosion got in there. So those batteries have to come out. Now, the, the uh, wiring scheme is the same between the VeriZoom battery and the IDX. So I'll remove the old battery pack from the IDX, leaving just the charging board. And uh, then I'll break into the VeriZoom battery, which has no screws and pops open about as easy as a box of cigarettes. And uh, I'll take the um, relatively new lithium-ion cell pack out of that one. They're wired the same way, uh, four in uh, series, and then each group of four is wired in parallel. The IDX charging uh, board has more temperature sensors on it, and um, as I desolder the cells from the very zoom board, I have to use a very high temp iron because the uh, solder is high temp solder. So now we're going to get this battery pack separated from the very zoom board and uh, correctly orient it underneath the IDX charging board. We also have to remove this um, extra temperature sensor from the IDX pack um, and solder it on to the new cell pack. Um, and uh, the other end of it goes on to the IDX charging board. That's a relatively simple process. Now we're going to solder the new cell pack back into the case of the IDX, uh, making sure all the uh, solder joints are good, clean, and flat because there's not a lot of space inside that case. And if any of your solder joints protrude, you won't be able to fit the case on. So before I close it up and uh, seal it up permanently, I think I'm going to put this on a charger and see if uh, it'll accept a charge before I go to all the pains of sealing this thing back up. So just holding together like a sandwich, I'll put it on a charger and uh, lo and behold, uh, a few hours later, we've got a battery with a fresh charge on it. Now before I can put it in any equipment, I've got to seal it up, and I'll do that with common uh, plastic modeling cement, which uh, takes to that plastic really well, kind of softens it and welds it together better than any epoxy, really, in plastics, and then clamp everything down so it's just as uh, compact and flat as it was before I took it apart. There's not a lot of space tolerances in some of the equipment these NP1s go into. So once it's all clamped, and all the excess glue is uh, removed from the edges. I'm going to leave it overnight and uh, take it apart in the morning. So after drying overnight, we're going to pull the clamps off and um, do a couple of checks on it. Make sure it's held to charge. Uh, check the uh, non-load voltage on there. And it's uh, just as you would expect from a freshly charged battery, about 16 and a half volts. I'm going to pull out the Diva Fusion and uh, stick the NP1 in there and see how long it'll keep it alive. And I'll probably do this a few more times, um, charging and discharging the lithium ion battery. And we can see that from the uh, charge chart, it's uh, keeping it on for many, many hours. So I think I've got a good battery.